Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today with the new conservation pack announced for Planet Zoo coming in just a few weeks. We're going to start seeing some screenshots. The first one being the Chevalsky's Wild Horse. Now, this screenshot that you're looking at right now is one that we got on announcement day, uh, but I do have a new one to show you in just a minute. So I thought we would jump in and talk about the screenshots, anything that we see that's new and then talk about the animal of course i am very excited about this pack being conservation focused i think it's phenomenal and the chevalsky's wild horse is a really really good um kind of poster child for conservation so i think it is a perfect fit so that being said this is the screenshot that we saw on announcement day you can see that it's got some wonderful grass pieces some poppies with those red flowers below and then some like new little white flowers basically just lots more grassland foliage and i love it i'm so excited it's going to make uh zoos and habitats uh in planet zoo seem much more alive and get those little bitty details everywhere um, um, because the long grass, I do not like. The, the terrain paint long grass, I don't like. So I'm very excited to see actual grass pieces, more like the Africa grass piece that we got with the Africa grass. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on and take a look at this screenshot. And this is going to be the screenshot that we saw today, which is an, another Chevalsky's wild horse in an open field. You can see a keeper in the background feeding it. And then lots more of this grass and some new little flowers and stuff that it's standing in. Absolutely phenomenal. And these screenshots, I do have to say, are absolutely gorgeous. I love it. You've got clearly the uh, player built kind of mountain in the back with all the rocks all over it. And then the backdrop to the zoo, those snowy mountain tops in the back. Uh, it just makes it gorgeous. And you can see two other horses in this enclosure, uh, slightly to the right and slightly to the left of the keeper in the background holding the blue bucket. But absolutely gorgeous. I love the texture of the hair on this guy. It looks phenomenal the colors look phenomenal I just I'm very impressed with it so that being said let's go ahead and talk about these guys for just a little bit give you some information on them if you're unfamiliar with the animals. So Chevalsky's horses are often described as small and stocky. They are heavily built with a large head, thick neck, and short legs. They are dun colored with a dark zebra-like erect mane and no forelock. So the forelock would be the hair that hangs down over the forehead in between the ears. And then the mane is obviously the hair that grows out of the top of the neck on a horse. A dark stripe continues from the mane along the backbone to a dark plumed tail. They have a yellowish white belly and dark lower legs and zebra-like stripes behind their knees. Can we actually see behind their knees? We can't. So maybe when we actually get in game, maybe a little bit on that front right leg, a little bit of striping pattern, maybe, but not not well enough to actually see if it's there. So we'll have to see once we get this animal in game uh, if that striping is there. Chevalsky's horses are 4.3 to 5 feet tall at the withers, 7.25 to 8.5 feet long, and weigh 550 to 800 pounds. So they're rather small horses. Their native habitat, Chevalsky's horses, once ranged through Europe and Asia. Competition with man and livestock, as well as changes in the environment, led to the horse moving east to Asia and eventually becoming extinct in the wild. Today, they can only be found in reintroduction sites in Mongolia, China, and Kazakhstan. So that is why they are such a poster child for uh, conservation is because these guys did at one time go completely extinct in the wild and were only, only kept in captivity, but they have been reintroduced into those few sites that I mentioned and they have uh, little populations that are thriving. So that is fantastic. Fantastic, <laughs> excuse me. Chevalsky's horses are the only wild horses left in the world. The wild horses that a 
that abound in Australia and North America's western plains and east coast barrier islands are actually feral domestic horses that escaped from ranchers and farms and returned to the wild. Food and eating habits in the wild, Shavalsky's horses graze on grasses and leaves from shrubby trees. Like zebras and donkeys, they are hind gunt fermenters, meaning that they need to consume large amounts of water and low quality food. Mares at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute graze on a pasture a few hours a day. So very similar, obviously they're a horse species, so they're going to uh, uh, digest food and eat a lot of the same ways that they do. Social structure, this species often lives in groups that contain several mares, a dominant stallion, and their offspring. There are also maybe younger stallions on the periphery of the herd or in a bachelor herd. These young stallions will only be allowed to breed if they defeat the dominant stallion. Once offspring reach breeding age, they are chased out of the herd. And then a little bit about reproduction and development. Domestic horses are seasonal breeders that cycle in the spring and summer. Very little is known about the reproductive physiology of Shavalsky's horses. A research program at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute is looking into many aspects of female and male reproductive physiology. This has become very important as many zoos in North America are reporting infertility issues and as a result, not many foals have been born in the last 10 years. And then last but not least, Shavalsky's horses may live up to about 36 years of age. So that's a little bit about them. Um, when you're looking for habitat inspiration or anything like that, you certainly can look them up, but you can also look up horse stables, you know, that kind of thing where they're going to be kept is going to be um, sufficient for them as well as far as fencing goes and stuff to keep them in. So yeah, that's all I have for you about the Shavalsky's Wild Horse. This is only screenshot number one of five, so hopefully we'll be seeing four more in the very near future, one a day or one every other day, whatever the release schedule is going to be. Let me know what you think about the horse. Do you think it was a good pick for the pack? Is it your favorite out of the lineup? or are you uh, eagerly awaiting another animal like I am? I won't tell you just as of yet which one, although you probably can guess if you know me at all, but I'm waiting to see all of the screenshots and the animals in the game to make my final decision on which one is my favorite. But I will say this guy is right up there, uh, probably in the top kind of two or three, uh, but we'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. We'll be covering the conservation pack pretty heavily uh, in the next few weeks or so. Uh, and that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.